In the deepest, most forsaken halls of the Doom Gauntlet, a twisted figure of malevolent power waits, its presence a stain upon the very fabric of Sozeria. This being is the Dark Father, the master of the undead, a shadowy overlord who commands an army of nightmares. Cloaked in the blackest of robes, his skeletal form radiates an aura of palpable dread, the air thick with the stench of death and decay wherever he treads. His hollow eyes burn with an unnatural light, a gaze that seems to pierce the souls of those foolish enough to challenge him. Within his corrupted domain, the Dark Father controls a legion of twisted minions, from soul-stealing liches to bloodthirsty wraiths, each bound to his dark will. As adventurers enter the cursed halls of doom, they are met with a gauntlet of horrors designed to test their resolve and strip away their hope. But for those brave enough, or perhaps foolish enough, to reach the Dark Father, the real challenge begins. His mastery over necromancy allows him to summon fresh waves of undead, overwhelming the unprepared in a relentless tide of death. To face the Dark Father is not just to confront a powerful foe, but to enter a battle against death itself, where each swing of his weapon, each spell cast, chips away at the fragile line between life and the underworld. Adventurers seeking the treasures of doom must first survive the terror of its cruel master, a being whose very name whispers of untold suffering and the dark secrets of the grave. When the Dark Father enters combat, the air grows thick with malice, and the temperature seems to drop as the undead lord unleashes his dark magic. As soon as battle is joined, his skeletal hands weave through the air, casting the necromantic spell Blood Oath, linking the fate of his enemies to his own. Any blow struck against him reverberates with the sting of their own pain, forcing melee fighters to reconsider their every strike. To engage the Dark Father recklessly is to feel the bitter bite of each attack return tenfold. His sinister laughter echoes through the gauntlet as his enemies falter under their own strength, the blood packed draining their vitality with every swing of the sword. Moments later, the Dark Father conjures the dreadful spell curse, sapping the strength, dexterity, and intelligence of his foes, leaving them sluggish and vulnerable. For a melee combatant, the sensation is crippling. What once were swift and deadly blows are reduced to feeble attempts to harm the unholy figure. At the same time, the Dark Father calls upon his mastery of necromancy to summon waves of undead minions. Skeletal knights, liches, and wraiths rise from the corrupted earth, converging on the adventurers like a flood of death itself. They claw and tear at any who stand in their path, overwhelming even the most stalwart defenders. The minions act as a constant distraction, forcing combatants to divide their attention between the relentless undead and their dark master. For a melee character to face the Dark Father requires careful strategy and preparation. When Blood Oath is cast, the key to survival is patience. Adventurers must cease their direct assault, relying instead on defensive maneuvers or healing through chivalry or vampiric embrace. Weapons imbued with life leech become invaluable, as they allow the warrior to recover some of the damage dealt without succumbing to the full effect of the oath. Remove curse is essential in breaking the debilitating effects of curse, restoring the fighter's physical prowess and preventing the Dark Father from gaining the upper hand. For those with high chivalry skill, Divine Fury can restore lost stamina and enable quicker swings, while Consecrate Weapon allows each strike to penetrate the Father's defenses more effectively. Dealing with the endless onslaught of minions is another crucial aspect of survival. A melee fighter must be prepared for crowd control, relying on whirlwind attack or area of effect abilities to cut through the mass of undead quickly. Focusing too much on the Dark Father without addressing the minions can lead to overwhelming numbers and inevitable defeat. Equally important is resisting the temptation to strike too aggressively. Timing is everything, and knowing when to engage the Father directly and when to pull back and recover is key to a successful fight. In the end, the Dark Father's true power lies in his ability to weaken and deceive. To defeat him is to navigate through his illusions, break his curses, and outlast the tide of undeath he commands. Fighting the Dark Father alone is a daunting challenge, as his deadly combination of necromantic powers and summoned minions can quickly overwhelm even the strongest adventurers. However, when approached with a group of players, 
the battle against this formidable foe becomes far more manageable, with teamwork offering distinct advantages that mitigate many of the Dark Father's most fearsome abilities. One of the greatest advantages of fighting the Dark Father with others is the ability to share the burden of his spells. His casting of Blood Oath, which punishes a solo warrior by reflecting damage back upon themselves, becomes far less dangerous when spread across multiple players. While one adventurer may need to pause their assault when Blood Oath is cast on them, the rest of the group can continue their attacks unhindered, ensuring that damage against the Dark Father remains consistent while individuals recover. Similarly, Curse, which drastically reduces the strength and agility of its target, becomes less debilitating when a group can compensate for the temporary weakness of a cursed ally. Another advantage comes in dealing with the Dark Father's minions. The constant stream of skeletal warriors, liches, and wraiths can easily overwhelm a lone fighter, forcing them to divide their attention between the Dark Father and the Horde. In a group, however, players can split their roles, some focusing on crowd control, cutting down the summoned undead with area of effect attacks like Whirlwind, while others concentrate on dealing sustained damage to the Dark Father himself. This coordinated approach keeps the battlefield under control, preventing the minions from swarming and allowing the group to maintain pressure on the boss. In addition to these tactical advantages, there is also the psychological boost of fighting alongside allies. The sheer endurance required to face the Dark Father alone, along with the constant need to react to his spells and minions, can wear down even the most experienced adventurer. In contrast, a group can maintain morale and stamina by rotating responsibilities, sharing the risks, and ensuring that no one player carries the full weight of the battle. This unity not only improves the chances of survival, but also allows for more efficient and coordinated damage output, leading to a quicker and more decisive victory. In essence, while it is possible to face the Dark Father alone, doing so requires preparation, flawless strategy, and unyielding focus. In a group, however, the fight becomes a test of teamwork and coordination, where the combined strength of many outmatches the power of one.